What is up Shark Army, it's me Game Shark, and welcome back to the fully modded Stardew Valley playthrough series. This will be episode 4, and let's get straight into it shall we? And here is my little boy, Freddo the Fox. Oh I love this, I love him so much, he's so cute. And of course it's raining again today, we've had so much rain at the start of this series so far. So that's why Freddo is chilling inside today. So. Last episode, we crafted some water pumps and also a kettle, which we can boil raw water, which gets collected from the ground, and we can make bottled water, which we can drink, and it's going to get this hunger bar up and our energy if we need to for the day. So let's check the weather. We've got fog, which is going to completely blanket the region until 10.40, and then we've got rain all day, of course. It's quite warm, though, with 16.4 degrees of highs and the lows of 11.6, so it's going to be quite cold for the night time. And we've also got a gentle downpour tomorrow. We've got so much rain. Of course, the weather in this is random. It's a lot different because of the mod. So here we go. The rain is pouring. The fog is here. The crops are all getting watered. Of course, we can see what's in the ground. We've got some basil today. Look at this. So there's some of the new crops. We've also got a chamomile. meal. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And the rice is also done, which we need the scythe for. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing, but let's go now you might notice the scythe looks different I have changed the visuals and the color of the iridium tools so they don't no longer look purple they've got a new effect which is like this and of course because the scythe is basically the only version the upgrade you can get it's like finalized it's added that effect onto the scythe as well so there we go we've got some unpolished rice and now we can that sell for 20 each which is not good, but we can turn that into fully, you know, bags of grain rice, which will sell for a lot more. So we will keep hold of that because we might need it for some cooking or some crafting recipes later on. Now, of course, we've got basil and chamomile meal as well, but they don't sell for much, but it's worth selling because we can't really cook yet because we haven't even got the kitchen. Our dried parsnips from the last episode is still on the go. And of course, look now. We have got 20 raw water. We'll get 20 pieces every single day. Now, what we can do with this, of course, is put this into the kettle. So you need one wood and four raw water. You just select the raw water, click it onto the kettle, it'll take the wood out of your inventory, and that's going to make bottled water. And we can drink that, so that's pretty cool. I'll probably keep that in the chest here as well, the raw water. It's going to be handy. I don't know how long that's going to take. But we will come back to that maybe later today or tomorrow and we'll see. Now I do have the automated mod. So if I place the kettle and the chest next to this pump, it will automatically collect and produce all the time. So what I'm going to do is when this bottled water is finished, the next time I'll make it all like a little production chain going on the outside. And then we never have to harvest the bottled water. We can just go into the chest and collect it. And we'll put wood in there as well. So that's what we're going to do once the first one is finished. Because I just want to see how long it would take. So of course... Freddo is following us today, even though it's raining, he shouldn't really be doing this. We've got a few quests to do, we still need to meet Haley, but today I want to buy the backpack upgrade if possible. And we also need some parsnip seeds, because I need five gold parsnips for the bundle, and I want to do that this spring. So we will try and get some more of those as well. I'm just going to clear the farm, just spend a, another hour or so here, it's quite foggy anyway, so foraging is going to be quite difficult. Oh, and there we go, the fog has just disappeared. Just like it said at 10.30. And look how messy this farm is. Wow. We've got to stay on top of this. Freddo, help. Pull some of the weeds up for me. Be a good boy. Help your daddy out. Okay, so that is some of the farm cleared up. I'm going to store some things away. We've actually got a few mixed seeds that we can place down. We've got six. I'm just going to finish putting all the mixed seeds away. We've also got some more raw water. So this is producing quite well. It's not too bad. Now, I've got all the artifacts and geodes on me. We're going to donate all of that today. Let's put some of my tools away. And look, the bottled water as complete. So what I'm going to do is we'll take that. We've now got four water, which we can drink. It's going to give us 10 energy, four health. And now this is made a glass of water. We can craft bottled water, I believe. I'm going to see if we've got the recipe for that. No, I don't think we have. Maybe we need another machine for this. Drinking this is going to help with a little bit of energy throughout the day. And we can make quite a lot as well. So what I'm going to do is before we go and do some of the stuff I want to do, I'm going to take the chest and we're going to make this automated little system that we've got going on. So we'll put the chest behind. In here we can place the wood and the raw water. And then we need to go and get the kettle. And let's go move this down there. I will need to make another chest for the fire. The, obviously the log storage for the fire. But let's place the kettle here. Now is this going to work? Oh no, I don't think it's going to work with the new... Oh, it's obviously not worked at all, is it? Nope. 
it should be automatically doing this, but because they are new machines, they might, this mod might only work with the old ones. So at least I've tested it. Some of, someone did ask in the comments, but uh, there's your answer, by the way. So we can't do that. So let's pop the chest back. We'll place the wood in there, of course, and the water. We'll have to do this manually with, the, with this machine because it seems like it only works with some machines and some of the new ones are a little bit iffy, so it'd be pretty easy to make the water ourselves anyway. It's not a problem at all. So I'll get another one on the go. There we go. We'll make some more water later on. Now let's go to the museum and do a bit of donations and also we'll see what we can find along the way. And look at this. Oh, it's the new guy. We've got John. Who are you? He just came off the bus. So this is a new person. Oh, the mayor's here too. Uh, hello, my name is Mayor Lewis. I'm the mayor of this town. I got word that someone new would be arriving from Zuzu City today. Oh, so he's so he came from the Zuzu City. So I wanted to come in person and welcome you to Pelican Town. Oh, hello. This is a bit awkward. Well, uh, what's your name? Oh, here's Sharket coming to the rescue. Oh, Sharket, it's nice to see you. I hope you're settling in nicely. So, new guy. Oh, uh, what's your name? I, uh, why does it seem so awkward and weird? It is John. John it is then. Well, John, it's nice to meet you. This is Sharket. She's the local farmer. She just moved here herself not that long ago. Hello. Where do you plan to stay, John? I, uh, I called Gus. He said there is a room open at the saloon. Oh, okay. Gus is a good man. Hey, I've got an idea. Sharket. Yes? Why don't you show John where the saloon is? Uh, it's fine, I can find it on my own. He's a very awkward guy, right? Uh, I insist. Yeah, Lewis, he can find it on his own. You know what? Let's let's um let's insist. We'll take him. Come on, John. Well, I. Wonderful. I'll leave you to it then, Sharket. Nice to meet you, John. Let's go and take him. He's, he seems a little bit shy and nervous and a bit awkward. So let's get him comfortable. Uh, lead the way, then, I guess. Okay. Come on. Let's go. With long hair. Oh, look at this, the cutscenes and everything. And there we go. Uh, thanks. It wasn't so hard to get to, right? I'll just go now. This guy is so awkward. What do you guys think? Let's get, maybe let's get to know him. He'll open up a little bit. We'll find out why he's so awkward. Come on, Fredo. He was dying to come to come out with us. Right, we've got a, a leak to start the day off the forage. We need to go to the museum. I don't know if it's going to close or not. But we need to hurry up right now. I think it's 5 p.m. it closes, hopefully. So there we have it, guys, by the way. We've got a new person in town called John. He's arrived, so he's staying at the saloon as well. That's one more person we can uh, talk to and find out the story and have some new dialogue and things like that. And I think he's a marriage candidate as well, so we could potentially marry John if you guys wanted to, of course. Okay, closes at 6 p.m., and here is, of course, the cutscene because we did find our first artifact. And we've seen this many times, uh, not a single piece in the entire collection, it's all gone missing and we need to fill it up for him and he's going to give us rewards for doing so and then obviously can complete the collection and stuff like that. It's quite tricky to complete it, so it's going to take some time. And look, here's Mona, sat down on the cushion. Uh, the library's my favourite place to read, especially when it's raining. So, we do find, we've just found out she does love reading and she does come to the library quite often. She also does a lot of work as well with Gunther, I think she works here sometimes. So let's donate some of the things that we've got. Of course, we've got some artifacts that's all going down here. And we've got some uh, minerals and things as well. Earth crystal, quartz, and a topaz. And we did get our first reward, which of course is the cauliflower seeds. That's going to be perfect to get started off in spring. Come on, Fredo. No one's at the community garden. It's raining again. We've had such a horrible spring. And here is Gumfer. Fredo's waiting outside. Let's process the geodes. We've got five of them. Why not? We can go ahead and do this and we can donate all these to mu to the museum as well. Oh, it's another earth crystal, got a thunder egg. We've got a salcite, some copper ore, always uh, comes in handy. And of course, the last one is granite. So we've got a few new things there that we can give to Gunther. We may as well go ahead and do that before 6 p.m. So here we go, we've got a few more things for you here. Perfect. We've already made progress, guys. Okay, so where should we go to now? I want to uh, see a few people today. We've got um, Sam just chilling out under the tree here in the rain. Rain muffles sound, so I can play my guitar louder without my mum getting mad. That's true. I want to find some of the new guys, of course. 
it's that's going to be the most important. It's talking to the new guys. It's exciting, and we want to learn about them as well. Uh, the raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. It's some, it's soothing though. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, when you go in a caravan, if you go on holiday or something, a little seaside vacation, if it's raining on the caravan, it's so loud. Uh, hey there, came to pet Dusty? Um, not really, no. Oh, oh god, I nearly chopped his head off. Didn't mean to do that. Come on, Fredo. <laughs> We didn't do anything here. Okay, so Fredo waits outside. We can talk to Willy, but for some reason, we can't ever talk to Willy when he's in the saloon. I don't know why. Of course, here is the mayor. Good evening, Sharkette. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. Oh, thank you very much, Lewis. Now, the new guy, Andy, he loves a good drink, and he's uh, come to the saloon quite often. Found me a hefty number of dandelions, leeks, and horseradishes in the forest this morning. I wager these, I'll fetch a modest price. So there's lots of things to forage. As he's saying, there's always things to forage uh, in the forest, Sharkep. You should go and look, try looking around. So yes, where he lives, on his farm, there's a lot of stuff to forage. Hello, neighbor. Hello, Leah. We both live outside of town. Does that mean something? Oh, maybe. Okay, and of course, look who's getting the drinks in. Shiko and Pam. <sighs> you can't do anything in this type of weather. Good thing the saloon's always open. And of course, Pam's here too, but she's not letting us talk to her for some reason. Let's go and talk to Emily. It never rains in Salcio, does it? That's where my friend Sandy lives. Of course. Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. Now, Steve is up in their spare room at Gus's. I think that's where you must stay as well. Gus is hosting a lot of people. He's got a lot of guests staying here. Of course, there's a new room here as well, as you can see. We can't quite get in there yet. And here is Abigail and Sebastian, of course. The valley looks more interesting than the rain, don't you think? I do love the rain. I was thinking, people are like stones skipping over the water. Eventually, we're going to sink. Well, very dark and deep, but kind of true. And here's Freddo. He's been waiting for us. Come on, boy. I was going to go to the PA shop today, but you know what? I've completely forgot. The time's ticked. Going to be closed tomorrow as well, so those parsnip seeds are going to have to wait. But luckily, they don't take too long to grow. Now, we can do a bit of foraging whilst we're around. Look at all these daffodils. Wow, three in a row there. I mean, that's going to be a good way of making some money today, because I will sell everything we find today. I've got some copper and some things I need to take back to the chest as well. We've not got much space. Now, I'm going to drink this water. Our energy and our hunger is dropping, so let's have a drink. So drinking the water will give us plus four in hunger and plus ten energy. So, you know, four glasses of this, as you can see, it's took us up quite a lot. And it's going to be very easy to make. So already our hunger's gone up to 59 and our energy is 125. That is perfect. More daffodils, don't mind if I do. Oh, there's one hiding right here too. Of course, a part of the expanded map, new forage items will spawn in different places as well. So it's good to look everywhere. Right, okay, come on, Fredo. It's dropping dark now. Let's get back to the farm. We'll plant these cauliflower seeds. We'll call that one quits for the day. Oh, look, Soren's here under the tree. I'm getting too old for this. I keep having to take breaks. Well, we know where he stands in the rain. You strange guy. I don't know where he sleeps. That's a good question. Oh, look at this. More forage items on the way back to the farm. Beautiful. Common mushroom hiding away there. We're going to sell all of this today. And yeah, I'll see you guys. In the morning, I'm gonna plant these seeds, sell these, and that's me done. Now I'm quickly gonna put the fire on, and also I have got some more water too. There we go, perfect. Let's go to sleep. Nice and warm. We made a cheeky 372 gold for the day. Not too much, of course, because we didn't really do much. That day went pretty fast. I spent most of the time trying to sort out the automated water system, but obviously that didn't work. The warm kept us nice. It's raining again today. I hope it's not raining tomorrow. Let's have, let's take a look. Um, so we've got no, f we've got fog until 9:50. Highs of 14. Pretty cool. A uh, beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Highs of 18. That's such a hot day. We'll give Frodo a love. He's sleeping, so we'll leave him there. We've got some more water as well, and we'll put another lot in. As we figured, this is pretty good stuff to drink, and we've got eight already. So we're staying hydrated. It's pretty good. It'd be nice if there was a mod where you have a first as well. Maybe a hunger and a first bar. So you've got to drink and eat. Oh, that'd be quite tricky. Oh, look at the fog. Get away, crow. Get to... Oh, just ate one of our seeds. We need a scarecrow. We really need a scarecrow. I forgot about that. Okay, let's see if we can make one. We do need some more wood. Holy smokes. Okay, let's get some wood. We're running quite low on wood. We need it quite a lot, you know, for making water, doing the fire every single night. I need to keep remembering to get wood. We need to upgrade the axe. A sharpish. Huh? Get it? Sharpish, yeah. <laughs> okay, pun intended, but we do need to upgrade the axe once we've got the backpack upgrade. I think the axe is going to be the first one to do, and maybe the watering can as well. 
Okay, so we've now got some wood. I've also got some pine cones and stuff like that. We might be able to craft a few field snacks, which would be quite good. So, let's do that. I can make two field snacks, which is going to be good food. It's not too bad, actually. I'll put the rest of them away. And then we can also, of course, craft the scarecrow now, which is going to be part of the quest done. And it's going to save us lots of money and heartache. So, let's put that somewhere in the middle there. I think that might be able to do the old radius there, which is quite nice. I'm hoping so, anyway. Oh, the water's done. Nice. We'll get that. We'll keep on top of it. And I want to make the furnace as well. We need 20 copper ore. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. Um, we do have new chests as well, which I forgot to mention. So we can get a large chest, which will obviously hold more items. We just need 100 wood for that. And also copper and iron. And there's also a magic chest, which is even bigger. It's a, a huge, a, like a huge chest. But look at the things we need for that. 100 hardwood, 5 iridium, 5 gold. 50 solar essence and void essence. That is so much that we need. It's insane. Now we can make fertilizer, which would be quite good. So I'm going to make some of that as well. That's going to be used for the next lot of crops. Oh, look at this, a rainwater tank. This will gather rainwater, which produces 10 cups of raw water. You know what? I'm going to do that. That's pretty cool. So we've got a water pump and also this now, which is the rainwater. So when it rains like today, it's going to get us a few water. Some raw water. That is amazing. Oh, what's this? Oh, spinach is done. I didn't even realize. No, I don't want to eat it. Thank you. So we've got some spinach today. Oh, that's a different material, different quality. Okay, let's. We've got some crops today. I didn't even realise. Let's sell the spinach. We've got some potatoes that we can sell too. Lots is happening today. So I'm going to make the furnace, which is going to be very good. I'm going to need that a lot. So let's place this just up here out of the way, and then I can start smelting some copper with the coal that we've got. We've got quite a bit of coal, which is going to be quite good. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at the new furnace. It looks amazing. It goes with the theme that we've got going on. So spinach, we've got some kale that we need the scythe for. Can't harvest that just yet. So let's get the scythe. There we go. And get the kale. So lots of good stuff today. We should make a little bit of money, which is nice. And look, it didn't take long for the copper bar to produce. Awesome. We'll keep on top of that. That's another quest done. So let's get the 250 gold for that. And also we've got 100 gold for the scarecrow. Made a little bit of money today. Right, I want to put the water and the wood away. We've also got some more, so let's place some more in there. No, I don't want to drink it. I just want to place it in there. Thank you. Raw water. We've got some more wood. Stock it up. We're going to need it. We've got 12 water to drink and two field snacks. That is pretty good. So we're going to go south today. We're going to do a bit of fishing. We're going to do some foraging. I'm going to go to the beach, maybe bump into a few people. Fredo is following us again, so it's all good. I will take some of these seeds that I find because I want to craft them field snacks. They're kind of good. They give us 45 energy and I can imagine the hunger being quite good on those as well. Is there anything on the farm to forage today? Oh, I can't really see. I can't even get through here. It's that bad. So here we are, me and Fredo. Let's go and do a little bit of forage and then when we do a loop around, we will do some fishing. Oh, salmon berry on the floor. Nice. I mean, it only sells for seven gold. Like, that's gold quality as well. So it's the best thing to do with salmon berries is literally eat them. Don't sell salmon berries or spring onions because it's not worth it. They are really good for energy and you know source of food. Money-wise, shocking. Or should I say penny-wise? Oh, God, the puns today. Oh, my God. Okay, another horseradish. You've got to over hover like behind the trees and stuff to see the little plus sign because they're so hard to see. Oh, there's another leak. Nice. Who's been drinking here? Such a mess. Get it cleaned up. I'll be talking to the Mayor Lewis, he won't be very happy. Although he spends more of a time in Marnie's ranch than he does sorting out the town. Okay, so there's quite a lot to harvest and forage around here, which is very good. There's a morel mushroom here too. So what I'm going to do is eat the gold salmon berry. We're going to get that hunger back up because we are quite low now. 2135, holy smokes. Okay, let's eat the gold horseradish. Let's also eat the dandelion. So we're now on a 50, that's not too bad. We've got a morel mushroom here, another spring onion. Oh, we've got quite a few spring onions, let's go. Like I said, these are good food. Here is Andy on his farm. Well, he's actually just leaving his farm. Uh, bought a new axe from Clint yesterday. I broke my copper one, cutting down some trees in this forest. Well, grading your tools is important, Sharket. Let this be a lesson for you. It's quite good for tips, so if you are new to farming and this game, and you did actually have this mod for some reason, talking to Andy, who is a professional farmer, of course, he's giving you some good tips on how to run your own farm and, and stuff like that. It's quite, it's quite cool, actually. Okay, I was going to do fishing, but as you can see, I'm stacked out right now, and there's no space, so I'm just going to go into the town quickly. 
see if we can speak to a few people. I can't even go to the beach. I probably will go to the beach after I've been to the town. I go back to the farm. And then we can fish on the beach and forage on there as well once I've got some space. Emily's going to work. So let's sell some things we've got today. The mushroom. I'm going to sell everything apart from the, the spring onions because that's going to be our food source. We've also got a few more seeds that I found. Good for field snacks. Got some clay as well. So there's a food. We've got fishing rod. We can do a little bit of fishing. Like I said, the copper bar is done. I'll store that away nicely. I'll put some more copper on the go before we leave. And look, the water from the rain and also the pump has collected. So we've got 30 from that. And also, we've just got a dried parsnip, which sells for 270. I mean, that took a long time, but that is amazing. Shall we dry spring onion? You can't dry spring onions. Oh, damn, that's not good. So forage items are a no-no. Maybe it's literally only just vegetables. Have we got any more that we can do? It seems like we've only got parsnips. I don't think you can do a potato. I'm not sure about that. Dried potato? Is that a thing? Like a potato chip? <laughs> I'll try it. Oh, you can. So you can do dried potatoes. Awesome. I wonder how much they're worth. But that was quite good money for that. It took a long time, of course. It took a few days, but that's not so bad. I'm not complaining. Okay, we're off to the beach. We've got a few slots. We've got a lots of energy left. Still the rest of the night, so I'm just literally going to go to the beach, probably get some forage items down there, and I'll fish away up until it's ready to sleep, and that's going to be that day. Hello, Willy. If I wasn't putting myself at risk of getting a cold, I would definitely stay out all day fishing. Some fish are only happy when it rains. That's very true. Alex loves petting his dog in the rain. Okay, I'm sleeping on Emily and Ailey's couch for now. Oh, okay. I met them because they used to come on holiday in my village every single year. We became good friends over, over time. So there we go. Oh, Steve. Mona is sleeping at Emily's house on the couch and the good friend. They met on holiday. Uh, Steve. Man, Alex is way too sporty. I mean, I consider myself a very athletic type, but there's a point when it's excessive. Have you seen how big his weights are? <laughs> so there we go. Oops. The fox didn't like the me searching the bin again, of course. But oh well. Oh, we found the anchor. That's a good artifact to find on the beach. We do need to get some wood to upgrade that as well. On the other side, there's nothing else here. Oh, got a starfish. I was just about to say, there is nothing here to forage. So guys, I am going to do some fishing for the rest of the night. And I'll probably see you at the end of the night when we sell everything and see what we get. We should make some good money today. So tomorrow, we're definitely getting the backpack upgrade. And there we go. That day has ended. Level 2 farming. Not too bad. We've got, now got the sprinkler recipe and also mayonnaise and fences. We'll get chicken coop soon, actually. Level 2 fishing because I did spend the night fishing. And this is what money we got. Yes, look at the farming. 1,000 gold. So for fishing, we caught three eels, but I did keep one away because I'm sure we need one for the community center. Uh, we also got two halibut. I've sold one and kept one as well. And I did catch some anchovy and sardines, but we didn't have enough space, so I had to delete them and get the eels instead. So, yeah, there we go. Not a bad day, nearly 2,000 gold. Perfect for the bag pack upgrade, which we're going to get today, the last day of the episode. So let's get on with it, and it's sunny as well. I'm sick of the rain. We've got some more water. I've been making quite a lot of it. As you can see, we've got 20 clean water to drink, and we've also got 96 raw water. Amazing. So let's check the weather for today. So, of course, it's a good day to enjoy sun. We've got 18 degrees high, which is amazing. And it's a beautiful sunny day tomorrow as well. Oh, that's what I like to see. A nice sunny day. Ooh, Andy's here. Morning, Sharket. I just dropped by to warn you about those crows flying about. Oh, no. I woke up to see them flocking over my crop field. I had to scare a few off. Well, we've got a scarecrow, so we should be all right. Uh, I think your farm is fine. I live right by that forest, so I get a lot of them roosting in the trees. Darn crows. Yeah, I feel you there. Oh, I heard one. Yep, they're here. Darn scavengers. But it looks like they aren't nibbling at your crops like they did to mine. Get a scarecrow, mate. It'll help. Would be a good idea to build more of them scarecrows if you can. It might not be a bad idea to build a few myself. I'll go get started. Good luck farming. There we go. Gave him some tips. <laughs> He's a professional and he still hasn't got any scarecrows. Oh, I hate them things. So we do need some more seeds. Look, they're all running low. So we've got some more rice, but I need the scythe. Nice. And today, of course, it's not raining, so that does mean we need to water the crops ourselves. Always the worst thing about when it's not raining. But it don't take too long, so I'll see you in a second. Ah, crops all done. I did forget about breakfast, and we can hungry, so I'm going to have a glass of water with a nice field snack. In fact, 
let's have both of those and wash it down with another glass of water that's a healthy breakfast a field snack and some glass of water look at that we're back up to 65 not so bad at all i might even have a spring onion let's try and get that full boost of hunger today because we do get a speed boost and some special buffs so more raw water this just never ends look at this obviously it's not raining today so that one's not working as you can see we can sell some raw water it's worth five and if you boil it it's worth eight so it's actually not bad to make money <laughs> we could probably maybe even sell that let's put some on the go again and i noticed we got a letter we've got some mail so let's see um me sell hats okay so it's the hat house of course i've got another one as well robin she's lost her axe 250 gold well we know where that is so we can definitely do that that is a quest we can do so let's go to pierre's the first thing and oh let's pet freddo we need to pet freddo good boy and we'll go and get some parsnip seeds also the backpack upgrade i think that's going to kick start this day perfectly and we got a random leak on the front of the path here look at that oh hold on this is a cutscene oh sharkette oh it's leah okay in the community garden picking her green beans it looks like sharkette hello it's a lovely day today i dropped by to check on my green beans and they're ready to harvest Gus and Pierre were here a little while ago taking care of their crops too. I love these new little events here, these little cutscenes. Pelican Town's community garden is pretty nifty, wouldn't you agree? I do agree, yeah, the community garden is great. It's cute, but my farm can hold 40% more. Yeah, but let's not get big-headed. The com community garden is a great idea and I do love it. Yes, it's, a spe it's spectacular. I'm very thankful for this community garden. I don't have much property to grow my own food, but thanks to this little plot of land we that we all share, I can. That's amazing, we've even got some honey on the go as well. Whew, that's all of them. Now I need to decide what to cook with these tonight. Oh, green bean hot pot maybe? Here's a fresh green bean straight from the vine. Oh wow, okay. We just ate one up. Nice, delicious. The soil in Stardew Valley is really rich. Crops here grow big and tasty as long as you take care of them. Even the forage is extra delicious. Well, I'm going to head off. It was nice talking to you, Sharka. You too, Leah, you too. And there we have it. A nice little uh, cutscene there and it spawned us right over here as well. Freddo is not decided to follow us today, but look, there's the new guy, John. Let's go and say hello. Uh, I just don't feel like talking. Oh, he's so morbid. Lighten up a bit, John. We'll bring you out your shell and your comfort zone very soon. Oh my god, we found a topaz in the bin. That is incredible. Okay, well, here is Alex, of course. The air is starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. And I do see Shiko over here too. Hey there, Sharket. Are you here to keep me company? Just kidding. Don't let me keep you from being busy. Oh, Victor and Steve as well. Everyone is here. Ah, I need to go to Pierre's for groceries soon. I don't know why my mother doesn't just hire a butler already. Yeah, I know you got the money, right? Are you thinking about a part-time job? Well, that would be awesome. Please. Evelyn's actually really nice and she makes the best pancakes. You should come over and try sometime. I definitely, definitely will. Okay, well, Willie wants free herring. Ah, that'd be pretty easy. We can catch those on the beach. But good to get them friendship levels up as well by doing them requests. So the first thing is first, the backpack upgrade. 2,000 gold, of course, it's a lot of money. But we do get an extra row to hold some stuff, which is incredible. Now we can upgrade it again and another time. So we eventually can have four rows of storage. But for now, as you can see, we've got two rows, which is incredible. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I want some parsnip seeds. We've got some fertilizer at home. I do want to get five gold parsnips if we can so 25 hopefully we can get five out of that i've bought a few more we've got 30 parsnips and a few little other seeds as well obviously we've spent all our money but i'm investing okay because i want to make some good money ready for summer so let's go and get these planted and then we'll get cracked on with the day i almost forgot the fertilizer oh my god that was not good there we go all the new seeds are in the ground i've just got to do a little bit of watering now and that is the farming done for today that should bring us some nice money in a few days okay crops all watered god look at the time it's going so fast today i feel like we've not done anything okay we are going to pop up to the community center donate some of these spring crops and forage items because we do eventually need to do it i'm still waiting for the obviously the quality crops the five parsnips and also a cauliflower and a green bean but they are on the way but let's go and get these ones over and done with first i've got one of each as you can see oh we even got some more on the way look at this oh Haley. Yes, we finally introduced everybody. Oh, I've decided I'm going to organize cl my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all the last year's styles to make room for the new ones. And there we go, it's finally done. We need to give someone a gift. Oh God, does she like these? 
Hey, for me, thank you. Well, she kind of liked it and we did it. So there we go, 100 gold for it. She was the only person available to gift and we did it. And look, May Lewis is uh, in the community keg production area. Kegs seem to be in good order. Susan is quite skilled at crafting kegs. So he's checking on some of the uh, community stuff, which is nice to see him doing. I quite like that. And here we go, community center. Let's do the spring forage items first. So we have got horseradish, dandelion, daffodil, and the leek. Hey, first one done. And we got 30 spring seeds, let's go. Uh, oh, I had a common mushroom, I could have brought that as well. And we also had a morel mushroom that we could have brought too. Oh well, plenty of time for that. Make sure we just don't sell them. So that's that done, of course, it's gonna unlock the pantry and we can now get cracked on with the crops bundle too which we've got a few of them to donate already. I'm hoping we can get this done in the first year, imagine. But obviously it doesn't matter if we don't because we're not in a rush to do it, it's not a challenge. So there we go, that's two of the crops in. We just need the cauliflower and the green bean, which are, you know, they're growing, so it's not too bad. Artisan bundle, of course, is right there. There's the animal bundle, and look at that. It's actually added the meat options as well because that is part of the animal husbandry or the butcher mod. We can actually um, kill animals, which is quite sad, but it adds a little bit of diversity into the game. I know some of you guys might not like that idea, and I probably won't use it to be honest, but it's good for cooking loads of new ingredients, loads of new recipes, even for the animal bundles here. It just adds, you know, something new to, of course, the fully modded series, so I had to get it in there. It made sense to. So there we go. That is that done for today. And the little Junimo cute thing is taking the little parcel, the things into the little hut there as a little thank you. Oh, the fish tank's open as well. This is good to see what we'd need. So we do need one sunfish, which we've got. We've also got the eel and a bream. We've also got a crab, a clam. We've got the oyster. Okay. And also the cockle. So we're doing quite well. We can donate all that as well another time. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go and catch free herring for Willy. So let's go back to the beach. I want to do all this reward thing and obviously it's good money, we do get 90 gold for it. I think we get to keep the fish as well, do we? I'm not too sure, but it's going to make Willy happy and friendships are going to be a big thing in this, so we may as well do that. And here is Abigail sat on the bridge. Oh no, I think my dad's going to cook dinner tonight. She don't seem very thrilled about that. Oh look, Olivia, Alex's mum. Working a corporate job in the city was a different chapter of my life. You used to work for Joja as an accountant, isn't that right? Oh I did, yes I did. Uh, I used to work in the finance department. Hmm, that's what I thought. Mayor Lewis told me. Accountant to farmer. What an incredible career change. I work as a stock trader, which isn't so different from accounting. Feel so much freer to not be tied up in a corporate office and able to do the work you love. I'm happy to. I'm happy that you found your passion, sweetie. Well, that's cool. So, of course, when you first start a new game on Stardew Valley, there's a little um, a scene where you're obviously working at Joja and then we wanted a new life. So we came over to Pelican Town. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. Oh, you sure will. Oh, it is beautiful, Jodie. Hello, Vincent. Good afternoon. Talking to each other. I'm hungry. Where's mum? She's right in front of you. Are you blind? God damn it. So you're a farmer. Interesting. Maybe someday you can teach me how to grow vegetables. Oh, I sure will. Oh, here's Shiko coming from the beach. Can't talk. I think we've already spoke to her today as well. We've got no hearts with anybody yet. But, of course, we're not even giving no gifts. All we're doing is talking to people. Which, we will start doing gifts very soon. I just need to start making a bit of money and getting the farm work done first. That's priority. Oh, the fog's rolled in. Look at this. And here is Willy fishing. Hey, Sharkette. Caught a zebra tilapia in the lake the other day. They are fierce, but make for good money. They usually come out on sunny days. Oh, nice. Thanks for the tips. So, we will give you tips as well, Willy. Part of the new fish mod, which is awesome. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday, guys. Spend the night fishing. Hopefully, I can get free airing. For Willy, and this is going to be my way of making money for today. We've lost a lot with the backpack, so I need to get some back up. And this is a feisty first fish. Oh, that took far too long to catch. Ladyfish. This is a saltwater fish, prefers temperate to waters, and feeds in large shoals. That's very difficult. It took very long to catch, and it sells 400 gold, so it's not too bad. But some of these new fish that are in the game, with your low fishing skill, oh, it's a nightmare. A lovely jubbly. So we did manage to get the free herring in time. We actually got four. One's a normal quality and we got three silver. We also got a silver anchovy, a ladyfish, a zebra eel, which is amazing. It's quite tricky to get as well. So can we give these to you now? A gift? No. Two. Oh, what the hell? 
Why did it say a gift? We've got the herring. It's, it didn't work for some reason. Okay, fire on. Let's get to sleep. I don't know what happened with the herring for Willy. Apparently, it classed as a gift rather than doing the uh, the request board thing. So, I don't know what happened there. I have to do that again tomorrow. But we made 483. Not too bad. A little bit of fish in there. And that is the last day of this episode. And that's all we've got time for. So, the day we're currently on is 12th of spring. I believe we've got the spring festival coming up soon. But I am going to end it there. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment for any tips or feedback that you've got on this series. And let me know if you're enjoying it as much as I am playing it. What would you like to see me do next in the next episode? We've got the backpack upgrade. What is the next step? Shall we start giving gifts to people? Start building up relationships? Or shall we just focus on doing all the crafting, farming, getting a big amount of money and getting into some of these new things that we can craft? Let me know what your thoughts, guys. I need all the feedback because you are involved with this series as much as me and whatever you say, I will do. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, stay awesome, and peace.